Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. We're making two videos today, this one and the next one. Funny. Anyway, the first one I want to show you is a 1970 MGB. Um, this particular engine in this particular car had a series of, of problems which defy, almost defy explanation. A friend of mine redid the engine, dutifully bought all the parts that he should have. The cam wore so badly, the new cam wore so badly that it caught a lifter. The lifter jammed the cam and the engine continued to turn so it sheared off a uh, woodruff key in the camshaft or the crankshaft. I'm not sure which. Anyway, once that was all repaired, then we ran into this problem. Now, my videographer is going to come here on, on the back side, but take a look at this. Okay, now that's not a loose fan belt. The fan belt's pretty tight, as a matter of fact. The alternator and the fan are moving at the same time, and I don't know whether Eli can get a picture down there at the very bottom with the ambient light with the front pulley, but the front pulley is moving up and down too. Why is this all happening? Because the woodruff key that holds the front pulley is worn, and more so, the slot in the crankshaft which holds the woodruff key is worn really badly. And that's a real tricky repair because that's a nice cut hole or a slice in the crank that the woodruff key has to sit in very, very nicely. We're going to end up having to, uh, having to put the woodruff key in place and then run solder in there. And because the pulley and everything is so tight and the solder's got nowhere to move, that'll probably hold it in place. But that's going to be one tricky repair. How does this evidence itself? There's, a odd, there's an odd rattle, only at idle, because once you get going, uh, the resistance to turn of the fan and the resistance to turn of the alternator is so great that the fan belt continues on and the front pulley assumes its natural location, which is being dragged around in a clockwise direction, is seen from the front. So it's only at idle. There's another, there's another rattle that you can have, which sounds a lot like this and that is on the three blade fan on the very early MGBs, the um, rubber bushings, the 12H 1060s, can wear out and the fan rotates independently of the water pump pulley. Not by much, not as much as this, but again it's metal against metal and you can hear it. So they both have a particular rattle. The last time I saw one as bad as this, was at the Namgar GT in Mackinac City. And I, I was horrified when I saw it. And I, I was worried that the guy might not be able to get back to St. Louis, Missouri. No worry, he says, I've had that rattle for two years. And he drove it all the way back to, to St. Louis and uh, talked to me later and told me that he had got there okay. And then he and his son had gone ahead and fixed it. Anyway, this is a very unusual situation. It's, it's the loss the loss of the integrity of the, of the uh, crankshaft, allowing the woodruff key in, to move and the front pulley to move. You don't see this very often. Well, now it's time to say goodbye and shoot our next video for today.